welcome back everyone. Um, this video is going to be a bit of a continuation on the ultra key effect, but instead of putting an image as a background or a video clip, I'm going to show you how to add a plain white background, um, which you would sometimes see on television ads. And I'll also show you how to add a drop shadow to the figure if you wanted to. So it's quite easy to do. So all we need to do is, is um, go into your uh, project tab here and let's next to the bin there's an icon called new item let's click that and let's go to black video all right and just click OK this will just create um, an asset which is just a plain black video now click hold and drag and move this video clip onto the second video channel or layer and then click hold and drag this black video onto into the channel or layer one um, select it and drag it out so that it runs the same amount of time as your video clip above it. All right, we're not going to notice much at the moment until we change the color of it. So um, what we need to do is we need to go to effects here and let's type in the search. Um, I think it's tint. Yep, let's grab this. Um, if we double click it, it's going to automatically add it into our effect controls or we could click hold and drag it on top whatever suits you all right so you'll notice um, in the effect controls we now have our tint effect and let's um, this use this uh, button here to double cl uh, click and then what we can do is we can just change the color this to white and that's going to change our background color to completely white all right um, you could change it to red if you wanted to you could choose any color that you wanted all right I'm just going to leave it white and you'll notice that here if I move back because I've got the white background on now you can kind of notice some of the screen the cloth coming through all right if that's the case what you need to do is you need to go back into your video clip layer find the spot and then you need to go back into your ultra key effect and play around with the settings as well again to see if you can remove some of that stuff and just be mindful of what the figure what the effect that the changes you make will have on the figure as well. All right, I'm not gonna do that in this lesson because that will take too long. All right, so um, so that's pretty much it. I've added a white background. The last thing I'll show you is how to add a drop shadow to it if um, you may want to show a bit of depth. To, um, to For example, this may double as a as a white wall, so a shadow could look nice. And there's just a simple effect in Premiere Pro called drop shadow. Um, which is common in all the Adobe programs. Uh, just click, hold, and drag, and drop it on there, and you'll see it will appear in your effect controls. Um, you can play around with the settings now. The color. Let's keep it black. Let's go the distance. At the moment, we can't see it because the distance is only at five. So let's click, hold, and drag to the right. Mm -hmm. Is that right? The distance. I can't see my drop shadow. Why can't I see my drop shadow? Wait a minute. I could because I've put it on the black video layer. I don't want it on that. So look, to remove a an effect from a video clip, you can select the effect there and just hit delete. All right, back to my video layer. Let's double click and add the drop shadow to it because I want it the drop shadow to, to mimic the, the figure. Um, now let's try that again. Distance. There we go. Now we can see our drop shadow. Um, direction. You can put it wherever you like to put it there. Um, opacity, I could make it really kind of transparent and let's make it nice and soft so that it looks a bit more realistic. Um, okay, and you can play around with these settings to get it as realistic looking as you want. So if we press play, okay, so there it is. So you've got a nice drop shadow there. I'll just show you one that I created before. Um, I should have showed you this at the start of the video, but here it is exported um, without the green screen showing in the bottom corners. All right, so there's how you create a clean white background in Adobe Premiere Pro using the green screen ultra key effect and adding a drop shadow. Thank you.